So I reached Rice YouTube channel. Today's class is learning how to make this beautiful shirt blouse with open slit at the back and trumpet sleeve. It's a very simple tutorial. It has this beautiful collar on the neckline, a button placket and a slit at the back. It's a flat it's, it's a flat blouse as we have seen that it's quite full and it's very simple to make. If this is something you like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so this is a flesh shirt. So depending on how big you want it to be, how full you want this dress, it's a flare dress. So depending on how full you want it to be, you're going to be folding your fabric on bias. So now folding on bias means this is the yardage of your fabric or however it is you want to place it. You are going to fold in a triangular form like this. So if you want it to be really full, you are going to fold to meet the other hand like this. But if you don't want it really full, you can just fold it halfway or quarter or wherever it is that you want it to be depending on how full you want it to be so this i am going to be folding mine but if you want yours to be really really full all you just need to do is to fold to meet the other hand like this so this is going to be fuller than what we have here so this is what i have and this is what i want to use so i have folded my fabric just like i have explained and this side is going to be my center fold which is this part that is going to be on fold so now the first thing i'm going to do because this is a shirt i'm going to create the placket for my button so from the button placket i'm going to be using two inches okay so the, i'm going to bring my tip now on this folded edge and then i'm going to mark the two inches all around and i'll make that into a straight line before i draft my bodies okay so you can use two inches or two and a half inches but two inches is fine for me so that's what i'm going to be using so after marking the two inches like this i'm going to make it into a straight line i'm using a soft curve fabric so i don't want to mark on it too much because i don't want it to keep shifting you can see how it's shifting so i'm just trying to connect it like that so after making my markings i hope you can see i'm going to bring in my basic bodies that i already drafted and then i'm just going to place it on my part my fabric okay so this is the body that i drafted up to my armhole area i'm just going to place it on that two inches mark i hope the mark is feasible enough for us to see okay the two inches placket that i created i'm going to place the center fold of the parts i'm making sure they meet each other so you can see that i have shortage here so you just shift it to get a place that is enough for your bodies so once you have that now i'm going to pin it down and measure the length of this shirt okay so this is what we have now the next thing is to measure the length so from the shoulder point here i want it to be a very long top because there's a short underneath it so I'm going to start measuring and I want the length to be 30 inches. So from this upper part here, I'll measure 30 inches and then measure it all around. Okay. I'm measuring 30 inches all around as the length of my blouse. So it just can be bigger or smaller depending on what you want. And then I'm cutting the front first and I use this front to cut out the back. So you measure your 30 inches all around. I you can see this. Okay. So this is the one I've measured so far. I'll keep measuring it and then connect my 30 inches all around. So when I connect it all around like this, I'm going to cut. So you can see I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut along the fold that I need. Remember, we add we folded it on by I was like I was explaining after making your your length mark like this. When you're cutting, you cut along this fold 
this food remember we put it on buyer so this food that we already formed that is going to be the side that you're going to cut and then you cut on your length like that so i'm going to go ahead and cut my fabric now and then we'll use it to cut the back okay so i have cut this out now and this is what it looks like you can see that i just followed my armhole line and my neckline the neck width that i used was two and a half inches and then the neck depth for the front was three inches okay so now i'm going to notch my center front that's where my button placket starts on both sides on the upper part and also on the lower part i'm watching the two inches mark and then i'm going to fold my fabric the same way i folded this and then use this to cut out the back as well so i've laid my fabric on bias again and i have folded in my two inches placket allowance so you can see so now for the back i'm just going to lay the front pattern on it and then i'm going to add one inch seam allowance for it's just going to be like a zipper allowance but there's no zipper in this i'm adding this allowance because of the slit that i want to create at the back remember we don't need a zipper because you're going to be having a button in front and that's going to make it easy for us to wear so i'm just leaving one inch for that allowance that i'm going to need to create my slit easily so i'm arranging it well and then once you have it well arranged like this you are going to cut it out so i'm going to fold it to the right side so that we can see what i'm doing very well okay so i have folded it so the difference here is that for the back neckline i'm going to be working with one inch depth okay not three inches this time around. so please take note of that so here i'm just going to cut out the shoulder and the side folds before i reshape my neckline so i'm just putting out the exact shape that i have on my front i'm using that as a guide so i've cut this out now so you can now measure how your neck depth remember i use three inches for the front so i'm just going to place my tape on three inches on the neckline side i'll know that this is where my one inch is supposed to be and now i'm going to cut out the back neckline as well so i'm just going to go ahead and slash the center back open so that i have two separate pieces for my back and then i'm going to notch the allowance to guide me on where i'm going to sew so after this now i'm going to go ahead and cut my sleeve and then we'll move straight to sewing for the sleeve is a trumpet sleeve so i'm folding the fabric on bias as well depending on how big you want your sleeve to be and then after folding on bias i'm going to roll like a starting point like this and then on that point i'm going to go down by four inches for my top side on this open part so now after going down by four inches here i'm going to connect it to form my ample okay. this is just a free hand cutting so after connecting it i'm going to measure around to check that it is enough for my handful and i have enough so now from there i'm going to measure my sleeve length from the head of the sleeve here. so my sleeve length is going to be around 20 inches so from the head of the sleeve i'm going to measure my 20 inches all around you can add allowance for any and then I'm going to cut out this shape I have for my sleeve. So if you don't want yours to be this big, you know how to fold. So how you fold depends on how big it's going to come. If you don't want it too big, you can just fold it a bit like this. You can see that this is not as big as what we have here. So it depends on how big you want your sleeve to be as well. So I've cut out the sleeve now. Once you open it up, this is what you have. You can see how full it is. So I'm going to use this to cut to cut out the other sleeve, and then we start to sew our blouse. So to create my button placket, I'm going to slash open the center front so that I can have two separate pieces for the front. 
So I thought my camera was recording. So to fold my potting plaquette after slashing it into two, remember we left two inches allowance for the plaquette. So I've marked out my two inches like this. And this is my neckline. So all you just need to do is to turn to the wrong side of your fabric. And then I'm going to fold in like half an inch or quarter of an inch first. Then after folding, I'm going to fold from this edge to meet up with my my button allowance line the two inches line okay so if you turn to the right side you can see that it's going to meet up here so this is going to be your button placket then you sew it down so you can sew it down on both sides so i've gone ahead to do this for my main body and this is what i have so i just held it together with my pin okay so this is my button placket so if you want your placket to be wider than this you just need to increase the allowance that you left for your placket and this is what it looks like on the wrong side so now for the back i'm going to bring it together as well so after laying them on each other you are going to measure where you want your slits to part from okay so it can be on your bra length or anywhere you want so from my shoulder point i'm just going to measure down like 13 inches okay and then i'm going to go ahead remember we had left one inch allowance as well i'm going to sew on the allowance up to this 13 inches mark and this lower part is going to be opened so i'll sew it and bring it back to show us what we have so i've sewn it down up to that point and what this is what we have by the time you open it out okay so now turning it to the right side this is what it looks like so depending on how open you want your slit to be if you just want it to be moderate all you just need to do now is to press this seam open like this the seam line that we have here you're going to press it open and then you're going to sew it all the way down to close it up here and then you lock it on the upper part so you sew it up here and then close it on both sides so that it will be left open so if you want it more open all you just need to do that is instead of folding on just the allowance that we left you can just make it more inwards like this i don't know if you understand this you can see the way i just shifted this inwards on both sides okay so you can now trim it off and then sew it along that line you can see that we have more open slits here but i just want mine to be just a normal one so i'm just going to sew on the same allowance that i have here okay so this way is only when you bend that the slit is going to show or when you use your hand to separate it so i'm going to sew it down and after so i'm going to have to sew it down on the back so if you don't want to have your seam line there okay you can see that i've sewn it down all you just need to do is you use your aiming gum to glue it down so that i don't have any seam line so i've also sewn it on the shoulder as well as the side seam the next thing is to bring in the sleeve now and fix it on both hand hole. So the sleeve are fixed now. So the last thing to do is to make sure you aim it on the hem of the sleeve as well as the hem of the blouse. So now I'm going to remove the first pin here and then I'm going to measure around the neckline so that I can cut out my collar. It's going to be a small collar. I already have you can use a standard collar or a bishop collar for this i already have a tutorial on how to draft boots on the channel so you don't know how to do this you can check it out and draft yours as well so i'm going to do this half camera and fix my collar then i'll take it to the mannequin for us to see what this looks like so it can be a button down shirt just like we have it a a regular shirt without a button so if we are working with a regular shirt all you just need to do is to open it at the center back by maybe four to five inches so that your head can pass through it but because we already have a button here we don't need to open it at the back because we're going to wear it by just opening up the button so that is why i have it like this so i'll go ahead and fix my collar now and then i'll bring it back to show us what it looks like the color is fixed now as you can see you just need to open your button o and fix your button and this is what the full view of the blouse looks like so this is a trumpet sleeve you can see that the sleeve is just moderately big because i did not fold it to be too big so you can fold this anyhow you want to get the size that you want and this is how big the blouse turned that as well so i'm just going to turn it to the back so that we can see the slits 
so this is the back and this is the slit that we have at the back so you can just decide to open it up like this or you let it just close up a little bit depending on what you want i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me if you enjoyed, let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye